Candace. I'm sure you all know Candace Flynn. She is just a normal teenage girl and she has two famous brothers called Ferb and Phineas. This story is about the time Candace went to summer camp in Hanoi with her friend Stacy. It was the summer of 2017 and in June she went to Vietnam to summer camp with her school class. She arrived on Tuesday at about 2 p.m and got off the aeroplane. The weather was so hot and it made her feel uncomfortable. Stacy had slept for most of the flight and so she was excited to chat in the taxi on the way to their homestay families. Stacy arrived at her homestay first and Candace looked miserable as the taxi drove away and left her friend. Next it was a girl whom Candace didn't know very much and her homestay family looked very friendly and greeted her with a big hug and lots of lavish gifts. Last of all, Candace arrived at her homestay family. They lived at a place called Royal City, and she felt very pleased when they arrived. It was very big and looked like Buckingham Palace. Candace was staying with a small family. The father was a very handsome man called Paul, and he was the director of a famous English centre in Hanoi. His wife was called Hang and she was the most beautiful Vietnamese woman she had ever seen. They had two children called Jessica and James and Candice looked forward to playing with them. Just as she was unpacking her bags her iPad started to ring. She had a FaceTime call from her brothers. Hi Candice, Ferb and I wanted you to see what we have built in the backyard. Candice closed her eyes and closed the cover. I'm not looking. I don't care. I am here to enjoy my holiday, she said in a cold and uncaring voice. She left the bedroom and joined the family for dinner. Candice sat down and looked at all of the food. She could recognize rice and one of the vegetables, but everything else looked so strange to her. Candice ate and ate until she was stuffed. The food in Vietnam was the best she had ever eaten, and she had eaten so much more than she was used to but the meat was the best. I wonder what it is, she thought. She thanked the family for such a wonderful meal and then asked Mrs. Hang about the meat. What was that meat that we had for dinner? She asked politely. Mrs. Hang looked at the table for a moment and then replied, Oh, that was platypus meat. Candace opened her eyes wide. P-p-p-p-p- platypus meat, she said in horror. Candace could not believe it. My family keep a platypus as a pet. You should not eat platypus, she said angrily. The family could not believe it. Mr. Paul said last month we had a homestay boy from India and that child got angry because we were eating beef. Then Jessica said, yes, and the month before we had a friend from England staying and they were angry about eating dog. Then James spoke out. Well, at Christmas, my friend from school got angry too. Everyone looked at James and then Candace asked why. James looked at her and said, My friend got angry because I was eating my boogers. Everyone in the family, including Candace, looked at each other before screaming, Ew! The end. Thanks for listening. See you next time.